Good morning from Dallas, Texas. It's a sunny, beautiful day. And uh, we're doing a comparison video today of this uh, 2009 Silver Ice Metallic H2 SUV with only 26,000 miles on it. Uh, so this is, uh, this is gonna be a comparison of the wheels and tires um, as, uh, as you requested. So um, let's take a quick look. So uh, you indicated these, these wheels and tires are exactly the same size that were on this Silver H2. Um, so the tires are wider, the stance from here to here is wider because they stick out more. Um, so it does create a, a different look. You can see they stick out about, a, about a, a two inches here from the edge of the wider fender flare. Um, so we've, I've, and what I've done, Lisa, is put two different wheels and tires on this to kind of give you an, a couple of choices. Um, both are chrome. And so you're going to tell. So that tire and that tire are different. Um, different tread pattern, really. Um, all right, so we're going to start over here. So we do have the fender flares, of course, still on. But uh, we've put, those are the factory original 20-inch chrome wheels that were only available for the 2009 H2. Um, the 08s, 07s, 06s, and prior, all those had 17 inch wheels, which were smaller uh, and were not chrome. Uh, so these are 20 inch wheels, but they're not as wide and they don't have as much offset, so they don't stick out either. Um, so it's a more conservative look, but it's uh, nice and clean with the chrome. And this gives you kind of a, a good idea of what that might look like. Now you will tell that you can tell they don't stick out beyond the fender flares. As a matter of fact, they, they're, they're a little bit about an inch recessed. Um, so it's not gonna throw as much mud and water and, and dirt up on the vehicle as well. Uh, but it, that, it does reduce that aggressive um, appearance that way. So they still have uh, cool, good tires and they're quiet. Um, and I'm going to show you a different set on the other side, by the way. Both sets will have, uh, will be a little more forgiving because of the, they're, they're not as wide um, and they're not quite as aggressive. So on the, on the ride and the suspension. Okay. So now on this other side, we've put some aftermarket chromes so these are also 22 inch, so they're a little bit bigger than the other ones. Um, and the tires are just a hair smaller. It, you really can't tell by just looking at it with the naked eye. Um, but those are 22 inch wheels. So the same size as the black ones that were on there. They're just not as wide and the tires are a little smaller and they're less aggressive too. Uh, the tires so they're they'll be quieter and more forgiving but you can see it from this angle they're just about flush with those fender flares um, so they're not quite as recessed as they are on the other side um, this tread pattern here on this tire would be even a little quieter than the others I like I like these um, and I think this would give you the best of both worlds, but I'm, you know, it's really not about my opinion or my perspective. It's really about yours. So, and, and we can even, you know, this is just, we're just trying to give you an idea of a chrome wheel with a size and the appearance. Uh, we could do a different chrome wheel design. Um, if, uh, if you like, there's probably two or three other options. Okay, so these are the 20 inch chrome originals. The tires are, are a little bigger than they would normally come with. 
because the tires that they originally came with, they're not even available anymore. They don't make them. Um, so we would go with a tire like that because it gives it a better look. And these are the 22 inch uh, aftermarket wheels. Those are fuels. I'm gonna give you a, another uh, comparison here. You can see how those, those inset just about an inch inside those fender flares. These are chrome wheels too on this orange one. Um, those are beautiful wheels, but again, these are wider than both of those. Um, and the tire is wider, they're bigger. So these are 22 inch wheels, so they're the same height, but they're just wider. You can see how deep that lip is. And then you can see how, how much those stick out from the uh, edge of the fender flare. Okay, so I may be going into too much detail and not enough detail, you tell me, but I just wanted to give you a good perspective. I mean, wanted you, more than anything, we want you to get what you want and be happy. And I think uh, I think either one of these would, would work for you. It's just gonna be a personal taste of what you like better. Um, <clears throat> So we, again, the reason why we put this setup on is because these wheels are, are, are narrower and the tires are a little smaller and that's gonna help you with the ride as well. Um, one other option here, just to confuse you a little bit more. These have a little bit more offset, but not a lot. So these are also a little more conservative chrome wheels. The lip is not as deep, so the, and the, so the wheels are not as wide. They don't stick out as much. Now this doesn't have, this one doesn't have those big wide, the big wide fender flares that stick up more. These are about the same size as what you have on there. You might like those, that wheel design there. They're kind of dirty. They're not, they haven't been detailed up. Okay. So. That should give you a perspective and help you make a, a good decision for you. I think these look really, really nice. I, I like I like the chrome, and of course, as I didn't mention, but you've probably noticed, I put the chrome brush guard on. Um, and I think it works, actually. Uh, even with, you know, we've got some of the black trim elements, but, you know, there's, it's, you got chrome and black throughout, um, and it kind of works. So, all right, that's it. So we have the comparison. Uh, you guys uh, let me know what you think.